Good morning, I'm John Manier from AccuSlice. And I recently converted uh, this uh, Precision Matthews uh, mill to CNC. I've been doing a lot of work with a lady, uh, uh, actually learning how to use it and uh, working, making some parts. I made a previous video, I made some parts. And this is actually my second uh, project I'll be working on uh, to make parts for the AccuSlice system. And what I'm making this week are some, call them brass keys. These are brass keys that are about four inches long, quarter inch thick, about three eighths of an inch wide. They have a dado on the edge and then four tapped holes in which we insert set screws. And each of these holes is a quarter inch, 20 threads per inch. And what they're used for is we have rails for our AccuSlice system. And we take these keys and we slide them in the channel in the rail and we can clamp it in place. And then we can take a second channel, put them together and then clamp these set screws and that gives you a nice long straight rail for slicing longer boards on the AccuSlice system. So I've been making about 50 of these and I've already cut my brass pieces and I actually milled them to the correct thickness and, and width so they're all set. And so now I'd be using the, uh, the mill to automatically you know, drill and tap these and uh, mill them to the correct position. I'm actually using three tools. I'm using an end mill to cut my dado in the edge. Then I have a drill to pre-drill my hole. And then I have my uh, thread milling uh, screw to actually form the threads in the, uh, the pieces. This is my first time using this thread milling uh, on my mill. I don't have a spindle control for my mill, so I can't use rigid tapping. But this uh, thread milling, I've tested it at preliminary, and it looks like it works pretty well. So this will be doing the first time doing a volume. So I'm doing 50 of these pieces, four holes. So that's 200 uh, drill and tap holes I'll be doing on this. The first step is to locate the center of my brass bar, since all the dimensions of the schematic are located from the center position on the brass piece. So I'm using a probe, which will automatically determine the center of the brass bar in the Y direction. Locating the center of the part is automatic with the software. It first of all, senses the front edge, and then goes around and senses the back edge, divides it by two and locates the center position. The probe moves to the center position on the bar, and then I save that position in the software. This is the software setup to locate the center in the X direction. First of all, I go to a Setup, F1, and then I'm going to Part, and then I'm going to do the X axis, so I select the X axis. Then I click on Probe F5, and I'm looking at a web type setup. Orientation will be from the left side, so I set that. Set the approximate dimension of my part I want to sense and then click Start Scanning. So first of all, it senses the left location and actually senses it twice. Goes to the other edge of the piece and then uh, senses the right edge. And it always senses it twice. The second time is a slower speed to sense it. And then divides that by a number by two and then locates it exactly in the center of my part. And so there is a center of my part, both the X and Y direction. So that's all my dimensions now for machine will come off that point. Next thing I do is to get my part, or my tool bits, just touching my part. My three tools are relative to this tool. So I just have to set this to the top of my part and everything else will be in calibration. Then I move my mill cutter down till it's just touching my brass piece. And then I record that position. This is a schematic of the part I'll be making, and I need to program all these dimensions into my uh, program to machine this part. This is my program in Intercon software. Tool number 19 is my uh, number 7 drill. Uh, tool number 20 is my thread mill. And tool number 18 is my mill to cut the outside uh, data. This Intercon software is very intuitive and easy to use and makes generating the G-code very easy and simple. And any time during the programming process, you can look at a 3D view to see the actual machining tool pass. The first step is using a number 7 drill, which is 0.201 inches in diameter, and drilling four holes completely through the brass bar. 
My plunge rate here is 2 inches per minute and the uh, drill bit is revolving at about 2500 RPM. The second step is using the thread mill to form the threads inside the pre-drilled holes. Notice the tap is going around in a circular pattern as it's coming up in the Z direction, forming the threads. And we are doing a double pass. Uh, pass one uh, does the initial cutting, and then a second uh, pass cleans up the threads to give you a, a finer uh, finish. And again, this is a quarter inch, 20 thread per inch tap. The actual diameter of the, of the bit is 0.18 inches in diameter. The final step is using a 7 16th inch end mill, which is 0.4375 inches in diameter. And we're cutting a channel, or a center uh, channel, which is 0.2510 inches wide. And just trimming off the outside edge to give me my data. And this is the part that will lock into the uh, channel on the uh, rail. Here's a close-up view of the actual cutting of the thread using the thread milling cutter. Uh, the process is the bit goes down to the bottom of the thread. It comes to go from bottom to top. That's the path. So it starts cutting on the bottom, going around in a circular pattern. And it's just going around in a circular pattern. At the same time, the bit is moving up in the Z direction. That's why you get your uh, right-hand thread. So again, it does it in two steps. The first step is it that cuts the initial cut on that part going to keep you around in a circular pattern. After that, the bit will come up again. Go back down to the bottom of the thread. Move out a slight amount to clean up the thread. And repeat the process, going around in a circular pattern to cut the thread. At the same time, it's going around in a circular pattern. The bit is moving up. And this part of the video is shot in real time. This is not speeded up. So this is the actual time to cut these threads. So the actual time to cut this thread, which again is 20 threads per inch, a quarter inch deep, is around 40 seconds. After machining, I took the uh, pieces and I ran them through a washing machine and I, I tumbled them very slightly with a tumbler. And this is what the finished thread looks like. And so here's a close-up of that uh, machine thread used with the uh, thread milling uh, tap. And you can see the nice, clean, sharp edges. Uh, you couldn't get a better thread using this technique. Well, I just finished making about 50 of these brass keys for the AccuSlice system using my CNC converted mill. And the project went quite well. I mean, I made a few mistakes because I'm still learning how to use a system, how to use the software, you know, how to program it. So uh, uh, I'd make a few little you know, mistakes that I had to correct and uh, improve on. But overall, it worked very well. Uh, I got some really nice parts. These threads are amazing. You couldn't do that nice of a job you know, by hand tapping or even other, other techniques I used in the past. This, they're nice, clean. They're nice, uh, straight. There's no burrs. I mean, they're, they're beautiful threads. And this was all done using the, uh, the software, uh, the Acorn software uh, from Centroid uh, and used in this uh, CNC converted mill. And these brass keys, as I mentioned earlier in the video, will be used to join together two rails. So once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, as always, you know, please give us a call to drop us an email. We're always happy to hear from you.